Oronda. Ah, oh, g'day. How you going? Welcome back to Down the Shed with Byron slash we're in Adelaide. Yeah, so while we're over here, we are participating in the Demolition Derby on Sunday. But why not give Safety Grandpa's VX Calais a service? Now, if you haven't seen these videos on the old VX Calais, I'll put the playlist up here. Right, hey, looking over it in general, it's been about nine months since Grandpa took it away from us. <laughs> um, and everything's looking all right. If anything, we may have the smallest power steering link just down the bottom here, which is quite annoying because I replaced all those pipes and hoses. And they're all brand new. So let's the o-rings pinched or something's just weeping at the back there but everything else in the engine bay is looking rather tidy now underneath i can see some sort of oil leak but we'll jump under and have a look now i've just got the oil drained just having a look up underneath here and you can see the power steering like cooling pipe is just weeping so is that spraying back and up into here but it's not much of a leak that's Nothing to write home to mum about, I guess. We've got the smallest drop just about to go there. Back around the back of the power steering rack, which is what I was worried about. I think we do have the smallest drip over here. And we may have a leak out of the sump. But again, that little drop for eight months. I think that's pretty standard for a Commodore, isn't it? <laughs> Otherwise, it's looking not too bad. One thing that did fail on us uh, pretty much straight away was the sway bar link bushes. So we've put some new nolithane ones in there for now. Roller hit wise, everything else is looking all right. Now checking out the body of the Calais. Ah, it's pretty much how we left it, but dirty. <laughs> I replaced this aerial, but it doesn't quite work with the stereo we've got in it. I think Grandpa might need some car detailing tips. But, um, and what I've done is I've taken the back tires off, which I'm going to be putting onto the front and then the front's diagonally across. And I was trying to work out how I can fit the spare tire into the mix because the spare tire is still brand new, but we've got two brands of tires, but we'll work that out. Now going to the inside of the car. Um, remember I did the seats and they've got those stupid little rubber like grommets or washers that stop it from going back and forth where the electric actuators are so they must have failed again so the old seat has that little bit of rock in it still so i'm gonna have to work out how we can fix them or where we can buy them from if anyone knows where you buy those little i don't know what they are they're like little washers slash like an o-ring style that lock it out but um yeah let us know because we need to fix those otherwise the rest of the car besides grandpa leaving it a bit of a mess isn't too bad <laughs> uh, the roof lining the big fella did with vision trim is still looking mint that's great and the driver's seat is looking primo still so we'll give it a bit of a detail while we're here all right let's um change the filter put some fresh oil in it and do this tire rotation Funnel there, Dad? No, I don't. Oh, bloody hell. It's the biggest you got, is it? Yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah. That's only on the slack, though. Oh, <laughs> that's on the flop, is it? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Lucky this is a PG show. <laughs> Should be all right we've uh ran it up double checked the oil now we'll jack up the back end and it's still got a small vibration which back in perth we changed the center bearing on that drive shaft and that took the the thumping away but then i still had the slightest vibration at like 60 something k's an hour so i took the shaft back out put a vy commodore one in there still the same problem then i took one down and got it balanced 
and that was out by about five or ten grams nothing to write home to mum about but anyway safety grandpa's done the nullabore and I can still feel that vibration slash I can hear something's not right in the back end. So we'll jack it up and we'll have a look. All right, looking under the car now at the drive shaft, as you can see, it's all been replaced. Center bearing's good. We go up to the transmission end and that's the brand new mount we did put in. So that's all sorted there. But just wriggling the back of it, I'll we'll jump down there now and have a look. So climbing under the back here, on the driver's side, this shaft here, you can actually get this section to wobble. So if I can hold the camera straight. No. Anyway, I can get that just to wobble. Now getting that sort of noise on this side, which should be right. You've got shaft movement, which has got to do with suspension movement the bush in here the rear diff mount bush looks okay but yeah on the passenger side we've still got that same sort of movement in that shaft and then in the output side of the diff I can actually get that to wobble a bit yeah so I wonder if we've got a drama with the diff you know what I should do we'll check the oil level so just checking the diff oil, oh yeah, we've got plenty in there, so that's all right. Yeah, so what do you reckon? You reckon it could be that diff, those output um, shafts, the bearings on those could be stuffed? Because yeah, when you accelerate and then take your foot off the throttle, you can, oh, well, I can, safety grandpa can't. <laughs> I can hear a whine, which set to me is um, rear diff. But if you've had this drama, let us know, just help a brother out. But Grandpa doesn't drive it much, so we should be able to sort it out shortly. So safety, Grandpa, what do you reckon about your VX Calais, mate? Very, very nice. Love it? Yeah, love it, mate. Yeah, it goes like a dream. Would you swap us back the VR Calais for it? No. Nope. <laughs> all right. Um, are you happy if we uh, V8 that Calais? Yeah, you can do it like. Oh, all right then. Cool. And what's your favorite part about the VX? VX, smooth ride. Smooth ride. All right, guys. Dirty thumbs up. Thanks for watching, take it easy and we'll see you when we're looking at you.